Greetings and welcome to another VMBlock screencast. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can use Rust to build a WASM module that will run in the, in the browser. So if you're not familiar with WASM, it's WebAssembly. Uh, you can take a look at some of the WebAssembly documentation online. And it basically enables you to write native code, such as in Rust, or many other languages that are supported and have them run natively in the browser and you can interface through to them using JavaScript, TypeScript um, and that kind of thing. So in this video today I'm going to show you an example of this. Before I dive into the example uh, I think it's worth taking a look at the WebAssembly website where you can get a overview of what WebAssembly is there's an overview page right here and essentially it is a binary format for stack based virtual machines that can run in the browser and so you can basically have a portable compilation target for programming languages and deploy them to the web and server applications WebAssembly isn't specifically targeting for browsers only you can run WebAssembly compiled modules in Docker on the server and one of the reasons primarily for, for me to actually do this is to move over to Cosm Wasm which is basically WebAssembly for the Cosmos blockchain but in this video I'm going to focus on WebAssembly only. Now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to my console here and just check that I've got Cargo installed. I'm going to do this by typing Cargo version and we can see that it's installed with version 1.75.0. The next thing I want to do is install WASM pack. So that's cargo install WASM pack, WASM dash pack, and that will install that. Okay, good. So as you can see, it's ignored the installation request because I've already got it installed, but in your case, maybe that will actually install the WASM pack module. From Cargo. Now the next thing is to create a new library using Cargo. So we're going to do that with this command Cargo new dash dash lib hello wasm. So this will be our first sort of wasm package if you like. It's going to be a very basic um, project hence the name hello wasm. Now I'm going to open this up in code editor uh, Visual Studio. Great so that's the project open. Now I want to add some extra dependencies and a specific type of library or crate type declaration here. Now I'm not going to go into what that is exactly but this is needed for making WASM modules in Rust and the other dependency is this WASM bind gen which is basically a type mapping system for, um, for WASM um, and Rust. Next up we want to open our librs file and replace it with this code. This is a very simple piece of Rust code that just basically has one function that adds two numbers together. This requires the wasm bind gen uh, prelude and then we just basically uh, annotate this function with this bind gen and the function at this point is a familiar sort of Rust function where it takes two parameters, both integer, 32-bit integers, and returns the 32-bit integer after adding them together. So the next thing we want to do is build the project using WASM pack. So I'm going to do this using the command line here as WASM pack, WASM dash pack, build dash dash target web. Cool, that seems to have completed. The package is ready in my directory here. So let's try this out in the browser, right? So what we can do to do that is create a new index file, actually HTML. So I'm going to, let's just clear that out and I'll use touch index.html to create a brand new index.html file. I'm gonna open that up here so once you've got the HTML file open, you want to basically create a, a, a simple HTML um, uh, code. And here's an example of uh, the, what I'm going to use. Um, 
we'll focus on what's in the script tag and what we want to do is have it set to type module and then in this line here what we're doing is we're importing the init function and the add function from this package file here this package hello wasm js now we can take a look at that because that was generated when we ran that build command and so we are importing let me just collapse this and have these side by side here and i will collapse this so we can see the interfaces we are bringing in the init function here which ends up being actually the default export section here which is this wbg underscore uh, init so w, uh, underscore underscore wbg init and which is this code here it's basically boilerplate code it's boilerplate code that you have to call before you do anything with with wasm basically in your in your browser the so so that's just boilerplate that's just uh, something you have to do but here is our function the function that we've defined or at least a javascript wrapper to the function that we've defined using rust of course and so we're importing that that's ex that's basically being exported from this file and we're importing it into our file here and once we've got these two functions imported the f we always have to call in it and we have to wait for that um, this is a requirement but then after that we, we can basically start to interact with our wasm module in this case we're going to be calling add and that will then call into the rust module and or rust app, you know runtime that's been built using wasm and it will return our uh, return the result of, of the ad call. So all that remains is actually just to try this out. So we can try this out using a local browser. Um, the, the easiest way to do that is to use Python. And I'll open up localhost 8000, expand the uh, console here, and we can see the result is three. The result of the ad is three. And of course, that is our file here where we're adding one and two together. So that's it. We've just basically written our first WASM module using Rust. And um, we can basically, you know, now we can basically add more functions. Each one needs a WASM bind gen, but that gives you a good start into the world of WASM and Rust. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.